Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to Twisted Serenity. Thanks for clicking on my channel. So today I'm so excited to show you guys some gingerbread candyland decor that I created using Dollar Tree items and stuff that I had in my craft stash. Now they could be used as tea tray or ornaments. So remember if you like what you see, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And turn on that bell notification to be notified when I post my next video. So with that being said, sit back and relax the craft with me. Let's get started. Okay, we're starting off with two round styrofoam discs from Dollar Tree. Now I painted it and I hate the way I hated the way it looked painted. So I'm gonna take some caulk and I'm just gonna smooth it on there. And then I'm gonna wait for it to dry. And I'm gonna do this to both of them. And then I'm gonna sand it up to clean it up, just like the excess caulk. And then I'm going to go in and paint over that so it'll give me a smoother surface. Now I just used Hazelnut by Waverly Chalk Paint for this one. Now, I'm just going to draw a boy face and a girl face on my styrofoam disc. Um, so, I outline everything first with a paint pen. And then, I had some paint markers. And I'm going to use some paint markers on some places of it. and But, I'm going to make... I'm also going to use paint. So, I just wanted some colors to pop. Now, to get into like the little parts of the eyes and stuff... That's where I went in with the paint markers. Now, a lot of people have said, oh, I can't draw. Trust me, I don't draw at as well, like, at all. And I just started drawing when I started, like, really, really crafting. If you don't feel comfortable, you can always print out an image and trace it on. Or you can even print it out on your Cricut. Now, I didn't want my cheeks to be a little dark, so I have, like, this little, I don't know, it's like a chalk crayon type thing. And a makeup brush, and I just rub it on there and blend it in. I grab the chalk marker starting first and I make some squiggly lines, but then I do go over it with paint because I want it to be thicker. Um, so I'm going to set him to the side and I'm going to take out my little girl and I do the same thing. I start to draw on the face and then I do the same thing. I repeat every step over. I do the outlining with the markers and paint it in. The only thing different I did add the you know the shape of the eye is a little bit different and it added like a little kiss heart to her mouth Okay, now to give it to a little bit of a little pop, I go over like the white part with a little bit of Mod Podge and then I'm going to grab my glitter and sprinkle some glitter right on top of each one. Now, when that is done, I have these like brownish straws and I took some wood dowels and I'm going to poke a hole in the bottom of our little gingerbread face and I'm going to Stick the straw, I'm sorry, stick the wood dowel inside the straw and then stick that right inside of there because we're turning these into picks. Now to give it a final touch, I made two bows, one for each, and I glued the bow on top as a hair bow for the little gingy girl. And I added a little peppermint, a little faux peppermint in the middle. And then I glued the boy's um, bow onto the straw so as a little bow tie. And glued a peppermint right into there. And I am in love with the way these came out. They are so stinking cute. You can stick them right inside your tree. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, so for our next one, we're starting off with this little paint palette thing. And it comes in a six-pack from Dollar Tree. So I go in with some elephant, just dab it up and down with my sponge. Obviously, it was too dull, but I just used the chalk paint so the paint won't pull up as a base coat and then i'm gonna go over it with some folk art i believe it's like an enamel sterling silver to give me like more of a pie pan looking dish now once it was completely dried it was time to decorate it and i go in with some puffy paint for our first one now i didn't have any faux sprinkles for like the, these sprinkles like the little ball ones and at this time i was too sick to make any so i just used some real ones you guys don't have to do that obviously but it's just what I used for for myself. I put a little peppermint in one of the little dishes. 
And then I'm going to show you guys. I got these ornaments from Walmart. But Dollar Tree does have some gingerbread ornaments. And also I make like little wooden spoons and spatulas. With some craft sticks. You just, you know, shape it out and cut it out. I made a little sack of flour using a little piece of fabric that I stuffed with some filling. And I just cut out a little flower image and glued it right on there. And distressed it with a little bit of ink. And I glued that one in the... I glued the little flower sack on one of the little muffin tins. Now, these projects have been done for a while, you guys. It's just that I've been so sick, I wasn't able to do the voiceover. So, obviously, <laughs> it's coming to you guys now. I'm still not 100% better. Unfortunately, the kids are, but I'm not. But I just wanted to show you guys them. Now, in this part, I'm looking at making it look like some splattered icing. And so I'm just using the, the puffy paint and I'm going to sprinkle it with some glitter. And then on one of the other dishes, I'm going to stick another peppermint. And then I will grab the gingerbread ornament from Walmart. And I would, I'm going to glue that right on top of it as well. Now, as a little hanger, I just use some elastic cord and tie the elastic cord. I made, I'm sorry, I made a little hole using my little tool. And stuck the elastic cord through the hole. And that was it. A little cute ornament. I love the way this came out. Okay, I'm grabbing a bag of this fake food from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to take out the donuts. If you guys see these fake foods, especially this pack, grab them. You guys can make so many different ornaments with them. The first one I'm going to paint with some melted chocolate. And then the I'm showing you guys. I got this air dry clay at Walmart for like $4 and some change. The yellow one I got from Dollar Tree and during the summertime and they had like yellow, white, red, which I got packs of those for only $1.25. So keep your eye out for that. So I used the two donuts that came in the toy pack and then I made two donuts, one with the air dry clay and I made another um, clay donut but with the Sculpey clay. I like the air dry clay for the donuts, but like the, the one I got at Walmart, the regular Crayola one. Is it Crayola? not even sure off track but i like that one better to do the donuts because it's not as heavy obviously i don't have no special mold i molded it with my hand now i poke a little hole because you i'm going to turn this into an ornament of course and then i am this is the sculpting one that i was saying as you guys can see it's better to mold it but they are heavier to hang up now this one I'm going to paint like a regular donut and when I'm painting, I'm dabbing up and down. I don't like the way it looks like streaky. So once I have it completely painted in this color, I do like a little full little line around the donut because you know when the donuts fry, they have that full little line and then I am going to go and paint another one with some red paint. And yeah, the one I'm going to make it look like a gingerbread color. Now we have to make our frosting. So this little concoction is just cock, mod podge. And depending on the color of your frosting, you're going to change up your paint. For this one, I used antique white. So using my popsicle stick, I'm going to just put the full frosting on there and make it dripped. And I'm going to put some full sprinkles. I'm going to do this to all four of my donuts. So remember, two of the donuts are from the little play pack. And two of the donuts are used from clay. Now, grab those bags of food, you guys. Like I was saying, I made quite a few DIYs just with one bag of the play food. And Dollar Tree also sells different types of clay. They have these like little clay kits in the toy section that come in different colors. And that was it for these, you guys. Now, for the next ones are so easy. I'm grabbing a pack of these table tennis balls and these Halloween eyeballs from Christmas time. I'm sorry, Halloween time. Where am I going? And I'm grabbing a piece of a foam sheet. And I cut the foam sheet sheet into strips. And using my fabri glue, I'm going to grab glue the foam sheet to the middle of each ball. Now, the eyeball was going to be hard to cover up. So, I do paint the eyeball with just some Waverly Chalk paint as a base coat just to cover that eyeball up. Because we are going to go in with a bunch of different color of acrylic paints. And I did... 
one complete pack of the table tennis balls and one complete pack of the eyeballs from Halloween. And I did so many different colors and I love the way these came out. So like I said, dab up and down you guys, especially on plastic because if not, it's going to look too streaky. And I have these balloon like sticks from Dollar Tree and I cut them all down. In total, I only probably used four for all the full little lollipops that I made. Using the hot glue gun, I made a hole at the bottom and I stuck the stick right inside. Then I am going to take some Mod Podge and I'm going to Mod Podge all our little lollipops and I'm going to put some glitter all over them just to give it that little sugary look. Then I have, I'm going to, so I'm going to go in with some ribbons. Like I was going to leave them like that, but I felt like they needed more embellishment. And most of the ribbons you I have, you guys, I got from Dollar Tree. But keep your eye on Walmart. I don't know if all Walmarts do this. There's like a bin they have where they sell like 10 cents, 20 cent ribbons. And I always pick those up. I don't care what type of ribbon it is. Always to have in my stash. Obviously, I'm turning these to ornaments. So I do poke a hole and stick an eye hook in there. I do wrap the stick of the lollipops with the ribbon. And then I also make a little bow for each ribbon. And I put it on there. And... You know, I was going to say it was time consuming, but not even really because I did make so many. Because I made two packs for myself and then I made two packs for my mom. Now, the last accords from Dollar General, I think it's just a dollar. Those are awesome, you guys, for hangers for your ornaments. And look at how cute these came out. Okay, you guys, I think this is my favorite one. So I have this little chalkboard tag and I'm going to paint it with some white chalk paint. And then I am going to heavy dry brush it with some antique wax. Wait till you guys see. This has like a lot of like moving pieces. But it is so stinking cute. And I think if you were going to buy something like this. People do sell something like this for an arm and a leg. So I'm going to show you guys how I created this. So once I have it all painted. I grab a measuring spoon. These are from Dollar Tree. And I am going to cut out just the round part so I cut off the handle and sand up the plastic I do paint it since we did stand it up I just paint it red again now I have a coffee stir stick and I'm just gonna cut off one end of it and I put it inside of our bowl and I fill it up with hot glue and set it to the side to dry now I got these little cookie cutter buttons online and I will link them down below they were very very inexpensive I take a piece of clay and I basically cut out little cookies and I take another piece of clay and I roll it out and I just cut out two more cookies, but I leave that little piece of clay because I do want that to look like our dough. So that will stay exactly how it is. I'm going to paint them all with my little salted caramel and territorial beige mixture of paint. Now, another part that we're going to do, we cut off a wooden dowel and a skewer stick, two pieces, and we glue them to each end of our little wooden dowel. And we just made our little mini rolling pin. Now the hot glue is dried in our little bowl. So with some nail polish I just paint it. And then I stain our little wooden doll with some antique wax. Now my daughter threw away all her Barbie stuff. I mentioned that before. I took her little baking tray. Uh, for our last little baking thing we have a little piece of card stock. And I'm cutting. I just made a little shape. And I'm going to cut it out. And then I'm going to just take a like a dowel just to round out that little cutting shape that little shape that I cut that I made I can't even talk and then I just glue it just to attach it together I also made like little teeth at the bottom of that little piece and I'm taking a piece of literally this is trash like plastic from a bag like a little baggie and I just rolled it up and I placed it inside that little tip that we just made and now we have a little piping bag I paint the little tip part with that silver paint and then the piping bag I just paint the inside of it with some white nail polish. Now I do tie it off on the top for some reason I lost that footage but I just tied it with like a little piece of twine. I go in with a baking sheet and I'm going to glue down all our little cookies to the baking sheet and like I said you guys that's an eyeshadow palette you guys can use that as a baking sheet. Because I know everybody doesn't have Barbie toys like I do. I just start to assemble all our little pieces onto our table. And I use one of those little flower sacks that I made 
in the previous project. And I made a little a hanger using some runaway twine with some beads. And that's just some glue with some cornstarch that I'm sprinkling on there with glitter. And that is it. How cute is this, you guys? I'm in love with the way this came out. Okay, for our next one, you guys, very easy and very inexpensive. You can make a lot for just a little bit. So I have, so I have some foam sheets, and I'm just going to cut some circles out. As you guys can see, I cut so many out. And I am just going... I didn't have, like, a brown color. So I'm just showing you guys. Um, I just used my mixture, and I just dabbed up and down on the foam sheet to make my brown color one. Now I'm just going to fold it right up. And I'm going to use just some hot glue just to keep it in all together. And once I have it fold up, I'm going to decorate all the tips of them very differently. I use puff paint and my full little sprinkles for my little brown one. And I do put some, is this iridescent glitter or just white glitter? I'm not even sure what this is. And then I had a, like a brown hot glue stick. And I made like faux like little chocolate on another brown one that I had. And then I I just used whatever em embellishments I could find. Like these little, they look like little chocolate balls. I did try to make like little chocolate chips with some clay that I had. Just use what you have, you guys. I'm just showing you guys. These are all like Dollar Tree clay sprinkles that I made. You guys can use like clay beads. Just use whatever you have, you guys. That's what I did. I, I changed it all up. I used different things for every single one just to give you guys and show you guys a variety of things. You guys don't always have to go like with faux sprinkles. I made every single one very different. And once I had them all decorated, yeah, basically the little embellishments that they all had, like those little balls are from Dollar Tree. I'm sure everybody has seen those. I grab my spackle, I just give it a little mix up, and I put it inside my piping bag with my piping tip, and then I have some twine, and I'm going to, that the twine I'm going to use as hangers, obviously I'm going to turn these into ornaments, and I just glue the twine, I, I tried, some of them I glued inside of it, um, before I spackled it, some of them I glued on outside, I like the, in, like when it's glued inside it looks better like that to me. And then I just grabbed the piping bag with the spackle. And I just spackled it. And we made a cute little faux cannoli. A little cannoli or ornament. And I think these are so cute. So inexpensive. Because you can make so many just with one piece of foam sheet. Now remember you guys. I just try to give you guys inspiration. You guys don't have to do everything I do. You guys can always try change it up and make your own. And... Have fun crafting. Honestly, have fun crafting. Okay, you guys, another easy and expensive one. We're grabbing the small ornaments, a two-pack um, from Dollar Tree. I mixed my paint with some Mod Podge, so it could be a little bit runnier. And I'm going to stick it inside the ornament. Obviously, I'm making a mess, <laughs> like always. And I'm going to just let it drip in there until I get full coverage. I shake it, move it around until it just covers it all up put it upside down to let the paint um drip out i do the same thing and i try to do like a gingerbread color on this one now once they were dried up i popped the ornament hook back in and then i also tied on a piece of twine to the ornament now i'm grabbing a dowel and the straw and i'm going to stick the dowel inside the straw and then i'm going to glue it onto the bottom of our ornament because these are going to be like little pop like like lollipop ornaments or cake pop ornaments i take my puffy paint and using my little tool i'm just gonna spread it around so it's not so thick on there you guys that's the reason why i do it like that and i do like little dripping marks i grab my glitter i put glitter on there and i also take my faux sprinkles these were from timu you guys and I put my full sprinkles on there. And I wanted this little pop to look like a little gingerbread pop. So I just used like the house as a gingerbread man and some brown sprinkles. I made a little bow. And I'm not no pro at bows, you guys. And I tie the bow right onto our little stick. And then I have this gingerbread ribbon 
that I've been having. I got this at Walmart a couple years ago. And I glue that right into the middle of our bow. Now I'm going to do the same process for our red one. I have two different red straws. I was trying to see why they were different colors. I'm just trying to match it the closest. I glue it to the bottom. I decorate the top with the puffy paint and the glitter and the full sprinkles. And I grab my little peppermint ribbon. And this was from Dollar General, you guys. It was only a dollar. I glue it on and that was it. Okay, you guys, I'm showing you guys these little molds that I have. And then this Oreo mold, the chunky one, I made that a couple years ago with some silicone. I'm no pro to teach you guys how to do that, so just watch a video on how to make molds. I know you guys, some people are not, like, fans of faux food, but I had to show you guys how cute these little ornaments were. I'm going to do some macaroons, and I'm going to just paint them damn it up and down. And I made three or four different colors. My footage did get cut off. I just used some spackle to put in the middle of our little macaroons. I, after I painted them, I added some Mod Podge to the top. And I decorated them with some full sprinkles. And then these little like charms are from Timu. And I put a little charm in each of our little fake macaroon. I also stuck an eye hook in our... I stuck an eye hook in one of our little macaroons. Another, And then I didn't have no more eye hooks. So I stuck another hook in another one. But I made a couple of these so I could put some on my tear tray and not just all of them on my tree. I stuck the snowman on the red one and a little Christmas tree on the green one. Now, I'm going to take another piece of clay, you guys. And I have these cookie cutters. I think I think these were from Dollar General. You guys, I know this, this part's like all over the place, but I'm just showing you guys like different molds and cookie cutters that you guys can use to make decor so simple this clay is from dollar tree is that brown clay um from dollar tree i'm just rolling it all out and just using different sizes of the cookie cutters to cut them out if you guys don't have cookie cutters you guys can honestly use anything and just do like a circle shape um i did use the oreo mold and that was from team when i got that for only 79 cents and then i also had made one myself a couple years back and the molds looked exactly the same they look you know the molds itself look uglier but they come out exactly the same the cookie comes out exactly the same i am just showing you guys that some clay from dollar tree and i'm just cutting out um or attempted to cut out here a circle piece to go in between all of our oreos as the filling as the cream and i'm sticking an eye hook inside of it and then i'm just going to glue it all together using some fabri glue so it could all just stick together and then once i have all my oreos assembled i'm gonna take that cock mod podge and white paint mixture and i made i put a little bit more white paint to make it a little bit more runnier and i dipped the oreos and i put full sprinkles on all of them and i thought that was just like a cute little different touch to it now i did this to yeah i did this to all the oreos obviously changed the sprinkles up now i'm gonna go back to the gingerbread cookie i had waited for that to dry and these clay pieces are from those pieces that i told you from dollar tree i mix some brown white and a little bit of yellow to give me like a little bit of a yellow brown color so that could be the middle of our gingerbread cookie like the cream i am gonna go over it with some mod podge to give it like a little bit of a shine because that dollar tree clay the the, the brown one tries up very dull and then I just assemble the whole cookie together. I use some black clay to do the eyes, a little bit of red clay to do the nose, and some puffy paint to do the mouth and to fill in the eyes. Now I know these like this part right now is all over the place, but I just wanted to show you guys how you guys could just make some cute like decor with you know with just clay and just even without a mold or just cookie cutters. I had so much fun creating these. Let me know what you guys think. All right, you guys, we're going back to the play food. And this time I'm going to grab out the, 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 the cone, the ice cream cone. I have a little tennis ball that I rolled up some clay over it just to make it a little bit chunkier. And you can change the color. This is melted chocolate by Apple Barrel. And I'm just going to paint over it. Now on a silicone mat, I grab my hot glue gun. And I made just basically like a puddle of hot glue. And I'm going to wait for that to dry. 
And once it's dry, I'm going to grab my melted chocolate paint again and I'm going to dab it up and down and paint it. Now, the cone, I had to change the color. I used some salted caramel by Apple Barrel and changed the color of the cone. I give the melted chocolate Mod Podge and glitter. I sprinkle glitter all over it and I do the same thing to the ball. I put Mod Podge and I sprinkle glitter all over it as well. Now, I'm going to glue... I'm sorry. I'm going to make a hole on the bottom of the cone, which is going to be our top, and I'm going to stick an eye hook in it. Now, I'm going to glue the ball onto the hot glue and then i'm going to glue the cone onto the ball and we just made like a little melted chocolate cone now i'm gonna go in with more mod podge and i'm going to take the full sprinkles and start to put the full sprinkles all over the puddle of melted ice cream and the ball as well and that was it for this one so i have this popsicle mold that i picked up after summer on clearance and I stuck some craft sticks in there. I've never worked with plaster, you guys. This is plaster. I guess you have to make it like a pancake batter. I never worked with it before. I filled up the molds and waited about 15 minutes and then popped them right out. I was actually surprised how smooth and it wasn't that bad. It was easy to work with. I painted all of our popsicles different colors and then I coated them with some Mod Podge. Now in my little squeezy bottle, I decided just to make a bottle of it. It's cock mod podge and some white paint since i do been using it so much i decided just to save it inside of a bottle instead of let it dry up and go to waste i put this on one of our ice cream cones and then i put some full sprinkles on there on our other one i just took different puffy paints from dollar tree and i just made like little squiggly lines using different colors and then i stuck some full sprinkles on that one The fun part about it that you could decorate them however you want. I also, it was so easy to take my little pokey tool and make like little holes on the top of them to make them into ornaments if you wanted to. I turned two into ornaments and two I think I'm going to put on my tear tray. I did basically the same thing for the other two. Just changed the colors of them a little bit. And that's honestly, that was it for this one, you guys. You guys are going to hand my toddler. I try to hide from him, but there's no hiding from him. So you guys will hear him throughout this whole video. All right, you guys, the last and final one. I'm grabbing this tray from Dollar Tree and I'm going to paint it with some white paint. Once I have it all painted and dried, I printed out a decal on my Cricut. And remember, if you guys don't have a Cricut, you guys could trace it, print it out. On a couple of previous my videos, I did not use the Cricut and I honestly just printed it out on my printer and just traced it right onto my images. So I, I transferred my image onto our tray. And once I had it transferred onto our tray, here came, like, there came, there, I don't even know what I'm saying, you guys. There came the fun part was, like, embellishing it and decorating it. So I wanted this to look, like, very, like, bakery sweets. So I have a full little cookie. Like, I showed you guys how to make the full little cookies. A chocolate one. I put that on there. I had some fake little candies. I stuck that on there. Some full little peppermint sprinkles. Oh, I stuck that on there. You know, just do it however that little gingerbread. you want to do it. That's decorated. That was part of my daughter's Barbie stuff that she had thrown away. And then I stuck those little cookie cutter buttons on there as well. Then I made a bow. And I just attached the bow to the top of it. And then I stuck a peppermint right in the middle of our bow. And that was it for this one, you guys. I love how this came out. Let me know what you guys think.
Now, I hope you guys enjoyed. I had so much fun creating these. If you like what you see, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And turn on that bell notification to be notified when I post my next video. I do want to thank you guys for all the support that you guys always give me in the kind messages. I am a little late on the messages, but I will be getting to those very, very soon now that I'm starting to feel a little bit better. And as I always say, this world could throw you twists and turns, but always make good choices. To the next one, you guys.